Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Virgo? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this channel, I hope everyone is staying safe. To my returning subscribers, my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Thank you for your warm comments. Thank you for your likes and your shares. New viewers, cross watchers, please come in. Take what resonates, leave the word rest, apply the gender rest, how they fit into your life. Let's get started, okay? With two energy cards. It lets me know, it tells me the energy that a lot of you are in right now. May not be for everyone. Thank you. Spirit, Holy Spirit, this message is for Virgo. Two energy cards for Virgo Spirit. One more energy for Virgo. All right, Virgo. So what I have is all tied up. And your second card is appreciation. Okay. Already pre-shuffled the cards. So let's get started. Spirit, Holy Spirit, what is the message for Virgo? What message you have for Virgo? What is the message for Virgo, Spirit? What's the message for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. What's the message for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit. White light. All right, Virgo. <sighs> A lot of you have no love for someone. A lot of you, you have the lover's card in reverse. You have no love for someone. You could, Someone you could have been dealing with a Gemini. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Virgo. What I see here is that your your main energy is that you have no love for someone, okay? I really feel as though that um, either you or this person has no love for someone. But I, I really feel as though that it's you, Virgo, that has no love for someone. I feel as though that you moved away from this person. You cut this person out of your life. You left this person out in the cold because this person was breadcrumbing you. They were coming in and out your life when they got ready to come around you. When they got ready to, they was pulling from your energy. I feel as though, Virgo, that a, um, a lot of you was dealing with a Gemini. Okay? It can be any other sign. But this is what the energy is telling me. I really feel as though that you felt tied up with this person. I felt, I feel as though you felt like they were suffocating you. I feel as though that you felt like, you know, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't be yourself. Uh, <clears throat> their energy may have been overpowering you. I also see, Virgo, you showed up in your own reading, which you had to do a lot of reflecting. You really had to do a lot of going within yourself, Virgo, um, and you came to a decision, okay? You're not blocked off. I see that you're not blocked off. It's just that this person, you had to move away from this person because they were in and out. They was breadcrumbing you. They only wanted to come around you when they wanted something, whether it was... Money, sex, whatever. They only came around when they want what they wanted. And you had to move yourself away from this person. You had to cut this person out of your life, okay? Uh, you left this person out in the cold. You, I feel as though that Virgo, you really began to appreciate maybe um, the, the simple things. A lot of you, I feel like you really appreciate not having to deal with that. Deal with the breadcrumbing. You appreciated that you don't have to deal with someone that, you know, couldn't truly love you uh, like you wanted them, like you loved them or, you know, um, I really feel that way. And for that, you know, you have no love for this person. OK, um, and it happens like that sometimes, you know, Virgo um, spirit. Tell me more about Virgo. Tell me more about Virgo's message. Any other message? Thank you, spirit. So let's see. Oh, several cards. Yeah, this person, this person uh, had a lot of player energy about them. You know, um, this is a person that also very aggressive. 
Uh, this person saw you as their, you know, someone that they could, or you saw this person as someone that you could have, you know, they could have been possibly a match for you for marriage. But because of their energy, uh, because of how they made you feel, you know, you had to get away from that person uh, because they were suffocating you. You know, not only were they that player energy, but at the same time, very aggressive, aggressiveness energy. Uh, like I say, they came in when they wanted to, you know, um, not only that, you know, they really made you feel tied up. Like you couldn't do anything. You couldn't really go anywhere. I felt like, yeah, they made you, they, they might've been a little, they might've been over jealous, you know, they wanted to do things their way, but, uh, you, they didn't want you to do anything. They had you tied up when they wanted to do what they wanted to do. I'm just saying, um, that's the energy that I feel. And I feel like you did feel like you could really, that could be someone potentially that you could have married, you know, at one point in time, or they felt that way about you at one point in time, you know? So that just tells me that, you know, the energy, yeah. Uh, so spirit, tell me more about Virgo spirit. Thank you. Yeah. This person, um, really miss you. Uh, but it tells me that they just miss your touch, your sex, whatever y'all had between each other. That's what they miss. They miss that in and out of energy. They miss that when they wanted to get it, when they didn't want to get it. That's what they miss. Yeah. But like you say, this car fell over here on the, it fell just like this, Virgo. See that? So this is you moving away from this person. Because sort of you was happy and then you wasn't happy. It wasn't that you wasn't completely not happy with them, but that's the way the car fell that way. So let me know. You was with, you was happy, then you wasn't. You was okay with them, but you wasn't, okay? It wasn't enough to make you stay. It wasn't enough to make you say stay. So you took a leap of faith and you left. Yeah, this person is over obsessively thinking about you, Virgo. They're over obsessively thinking about you. Thank you, Spirit. Any more message for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So yeah, this is what I see. You took a leap of faith and you decided to leave this person because you. Yeah, you was okay with them. You wasn't happy. And you wasn't really miserable, but you just wasn't, you wasn't happy. You wasn't happy enough to stay with this person. So this person, you know, was definitely because of their energy and because of, you know, you had to leave them out in the cold because this person thought they can come around and they could just breadcrumb you because whenever they wanted something, that's when they wanted to come around. Okay. So this is positive thoughts and energy. Virgo, until next time.